Hi and welcome to this class. My name is Harry Kalimnios from The Thor Gym. This class is Baby Got Back. What is that about? That is about strengthening the back. So it's a quick little flow centered around back strengthening exercises. So let's get started straight away. We're gonna start in tabletop position on our hands and our knees. So our wrists underneath our elbows and shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. And we're just gonna inhale, gaze forward, dip the belly down, tilt the tailbone back, draw the elbow creases forward as you rotate forward. Exhale, tucking the chin, rounding through the spine, pushing through the floor, and creating that dome in at the top of the spine. Inhale, gazing forward, dipping the belly down, drawing the shoulder blades back. Exhale, as you gaze towards the navel, push through the floor, round the upper spine. Inhale. And exhale, in here. Okay, inhale, gazing forward. Breathing in and out through the nose. Exhale, backwards. Inhale, forward. Exhale, and looking back. Yeah, and then come into neutral position here. From there, elevating the right leg behind you to roughly hip height. Okay, so hip height. Inhale here, exhale, squeeze the knee towards the elbow. Inhale away, exhale, squeeze the knee towards the elbow. Inhale away. Exhale, squeeze the knee towards the elbow. Inhale away. Exhale, squeeze the knee towards the elbow. Inhale away and hold. And then from here, just take little pulses up and down with the leg. Okay, Little pulses up and down with the leg. Good. Just warming up the spine here as we start to get into this flow. And then release the knee to the mat. Okay, next one, inhale the left leg away. Stretch it away, hip high. Exhale, bring knee to elbow. Inhale away. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale away. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale and away. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale away and hold. And again, micro pulses here. So activate that back foot. So you can either have it flexed, which is bringing the toes towards you, or demi pointed, which is where you push the ball of the foot away and you pull the toes towards you. So it's kind of like you're standing on tiptoes. Good. And then from there, release back down. Okay, so another few cycles of cat cow here. Inhale, gazing forward. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, gazing forward. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, gazing forward. Exhale, get round through the spine. All right, okay. This time we take the knee away, uh, the leg away from us again, like we did before. And if you can, you take the left arm. So you've got right leg, left arm. And then from here, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale away. Exhale, knee to elbow, push through that right hand, round through the spine, inhale, push away. Exhale, knee to elbow, inhale, push away. Exhale, knee to elbow, inhale, push away and hold. And then take micro pulses here, up and down. So have the thumb pointing upwards, so the palm is facing towards the right. And again, these little micro pulses, you only need to move a couple of inches, or even an inch, up and down, up and down, up and down. Look towards the center of your mat to the left of your right hand. Good, and then releasing knee and hand down towards the ground. Couple of more cycles of cat-cow here as you just inhale and exhale, round through the spine. Release some of the tension. Then, neutral position. Left leg pushes away, right hand pushes away. From here, inhale, reach away as if you're doing like a tug of war between your foot and your hand. Exhale, knee to elbow, round through the spine. Inhale, extend away, tug of war. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, really press down through that left hand, gaze down into the center of the mat. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach away, that tug of war, nice long stretch, stretch even, and then that micro pulses up and down. So you take the 
palm, the right palm facing the left, and then the left foot in demi point or flex as you take these micro pulses up and down, up and down, up and down. Good, and then release both the hand and the knee. Again, cycles of cat cow. Inhale, gazing forward. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, gazing forward. Exhale, round and through the spine. Inhale, gazing forward. Exhale, round and through the spine. Tucking the toes, elevating the knees just an inch off the ground. So engaging the core here, engaging the back and the stomach muscles all around the midsection here. Gaze down towards between the thumbs, push through the shoulders so you've got a rounding at the top of the spine. Okay, so you're not sinking down, but it's a rounding at the top of the spine. And then from here, bringing the chest towards the thighs as you elevate the hips up towards the sky and slowly make your way into downward dog, adjusting your feet and your hands as necessary and just keeping the knees bent and just walking on the spot. Walking on the spot. As you walk on the spot, just edge your feet closer and closer towards the front of the mat. So eventually, you're going to come into a forward fold at the top of your mat, bending your knees as much as you need to here, separating your feet or keeping the feet together up to you, but having nice, soft, soft knees, and then rolling up vertebra by vertebra, bringing the arms over the head, gazing towards the hands, Taking a gentle back bend here, remembering if you want, you can separate your feet slightly and even bring your hands to your lower back to protect your lower back. Otherwise, if you're happy in that more strong back bend, taking the arms behind you. Exhale, swan diving all the way down. Soft knees here as you fold over the thighs. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, step in the right knee back. Follow it by the left knee. Inhale here, exhale, shoulders come down towards the ground, elbows stay over the wrists. Inhale into your baby cobra as you draw the shoulder blades down the back, gazing just in front of you. Exhale, round through the spine, temporarily maybe into child's pose or tucking the toes, coming into downward facing dog straight away. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog, exhale, step in. The right leg through, followed by the left. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, hands to shins or thighs, and then folding all the way down. Soft knees as you roll up vertebra by vertebra. Arms come overhead, taking that back bend. Exhale, swan diving all the way down. Soft knees. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, stepping the left leg back, drawing the knee towards the ground, bringing the right leg back. Knee on the ground. Inhale here. Elbows stay over the wrists. Bring the chest forward. Engage the core. Exhale as you come down through your half chaturanga. Inhale into your baby cobra. Or maybe a slightly higher cobra. And roll back. Either through child's pose or tucking the toes straight away. Coming into downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, stepping it through between the hands. Followed by the right leg. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold down, bend the knees, roll up vertebra by vertebra, arms come up over the head, engage the glutes and the thighs as you take this gentle back bend. Exhale, swan diving all the way down, possibly with straight legs this time. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, hands either side of the front foot, step the right leg back followed by the left leg. From here, option is to come to the knees again. Or if you wish, you're gonna take a full chest around. Or if you're ready for a little bit more on the back, you lift the right leg. Come down to your half chest around or you're halfway on your chest around. And lift the leg up even higher if you can. Hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one. Sweeping through into your upward dog. So tops of the feet on the ground, thighs engaged, glutes engaged, shoulders drawn down the back. Chest nice and open, gaze forward. Exhale, tucking the chin round and through the spine, elevating the hips and walking over the feet, coming into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, stepping it through between the hands, followed by the left foot. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Again, let's keep the knees soft. Let's roll up vertebra by vertebra. 
arms come up over the head, glutes engage, thighs engage, exhale, swan diving, straight arms, straight legs, straight back, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, hands come to the floor, bend the knees if you need to. Step the left leg back, followed by the right leg. Again, option to come onto your knees, or you take a normal chaturanga, or you elevate the left leg. You come down, you stop halfway when you're down here, you lift the left leg up even higher and you hold. Okay, engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale into your upward dog, or possibly still your cobra. Thighs engaged, glutes engaged, draw the shoulders down the back. Exhale, tuck in the chin, elevating the hips and walking over the feet into your downward facing dog. Drawing the ears between the armpits or between the biceps, rotating the biceps forward, breathe in here. Fingers nice and spread, pressure through the backs of the knuckles rather than all going through the wrists. And then elevate on the inhale, the left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Inhale, right leg joins left, halfway left. Exhale, fold down. Again, soft knees, roll up vertebra by vertebra. Arms come overhead, inhaling up, taking that gentle back bend, coming back into Tadasana. Taking a moment here, close the eyes, breathe. In through the nose, into the abdomen or the belly, lower ribs. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, inhale, arms come up all the way, and then swan diving on the exhale all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, and then just step back into high plank and take it all the way down to the ground. Coming down with my count if you can. Five, four, three, two, one and a half, one and a half, one and a quarter, one and zero, we come down. Okay, so feet together here, hands are gonna come by the waist behind us. Forehead on the ground, and we're gonna lift the legs or lift the ankles, lift the thighs off the ground. So we're taking like a half shalambasana here. We're just taking the legs up off the ground, okay? Hold it there, five, four, three, two, one, and then release, place the hands under the forehead and just shake the hips from side to side, just keeping the neck long and lifted. So our forehead is on the ground and now we bring our hands back down, we inhale our legs up and we take our arms up. So our arms are shooting energy out of our fingers behind us, it's like we're being pulled from someone behind us on our feet and our hands as we open up here. Opening up, inhaling, breathing through the chest, raising the chest, lifting the chest, licking down. And then release, hands onto the floor underneath your forehead, making a little pillow and just knocking the hips from side to side here. Good. Next option here, you can stay with either of the previous two, or you take your hands to um, right angles, so they'll create like an L shape with your arm, so your forearm and your upper arm. Okay, and then again, we lift the legs, we lift the chest, and we lift the arms. So we're squeezing the shoulder blades together here, and we're keeping our hands or our arms at 90 degree angle here. Okay, so we're breathing in, we're looking down rather than looking forward, so we're not pinching our neck too much. Good, inhale in here, exhale in here, remembering to breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Placing the hands underneath the forehead once more, looking directly in front of you onto the floor, and then hips from side to side. Okay, next option is you can stay with one of those three, so you can either have the arms back and keep them down and just the legs up, or legs, arms, and chest up. Right angle hands, or I might have to move a little bit here so I can get my arms outstretched. We're gonna stretch our hands, we're gonna have our fingers pointing 
uh, forwards and our palms pay, uh, pay can't even speak now, uh, our palms facing towards each other, so our thumbs are up, okay, and then we're going to inhale the legs, and then the chest, and then the arms, so it's like you're holding on to a large football, or a basketball, or something like that, and you're squeezing that energy between your hands, whilst lifting the chest, lifting the legs, looking down, breathing in. Five, four, three, two, and one, and then releasing. Again, hands underneath the forehead, knocking the hips from side to side. From here, hands underneath the shoulders, pushing up and coming into a child's pose. From child's pose, elevate the hips, shift the weight forward, keep the knees on the ground, Bend the elbows as you come into a cobra position. Okay? And then tucking the chin, rolling back into child's pose. From there, tucking the toes, elevating the hips and coming into downward facing dog, and slowly walk towards the front of the mat. Okay, now here we're going to do something a little bit unusual, possibly for some of you. Your feet want to be hip width apart. Okay, so roughly about a fist width distance between your feet. And you want to make sure that your ankles, your knees and your hips and your shoulders are all stacked one on top of each other. Be mindful of whether your feet are turning out slightly. You want them to look slightly pigeon toed so that the outer edges of your feet are effectively parallel. Okay, so most people might want to stand like this with our feet slightly out. We want to have it like this. And hip width does not mean this wide. This is outside of the hips. The hip bones are here. So you want to have that nice line here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to create a small fist with your, with your hands, with your um, thumbs pointing forward. But you're not gripping really, really tightly. What you're doing is just as a loose, a loose fist with the thumbs pointing up. Then you're going to raise the arm to shoulder height and it's going to be in line with the shoulder and maybe just slightly back. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing small actions like this, like this, turning the thumb round and doing the same thing. So if I've got enough room here, so feet hip width apart, knees forward. Now relax the shoulders so no tensing up here. Bring the hands up to shoulder height. Okay, so we're looking forwards, we're relaxed and we're taking small circles behind us as if we're, it's like a 50p piece that we're circling here. And we're squeezing the shoulder blades, tucking the pelvis under so we're not rounding through the spine too much, but we're tucked under and we take small circles backwards with our thumbs pointing forwards, okay? Shoulders nice and relaxed, knees, shoulders, elbows, uh, what am I saying? Knees, ankles, hips, shoulders, all stacked one on top of each other. We take around 40 to 50 of these circles backwards. That's probably about 40 or 50. And then we go forwards, okay? So we start taking these small circles forwards. Now, when we do this, what we're doing is we're strengthening the upper back muscles here. We're allowing um, the strength to come to open up our chest throughout 24 seven of the day. Rather than just doing nice stretches, which only does a small amount, we wanna really build the muscle at the back there, at the top, so that it really pulls open the chest so we're not hunched over like many people end up doing with all their um, devices that they're hunched over. Okay, now what we do is we stop, we take the thumbs behind us and we take small circles backwards again. So small circles backwards, small circles backwards. Again, I'm not counting right now, but we're gonna do roughly 40 to 50 of these circles backwards. Okay, this is uh, from a guy called Peter Goscu, um, which is, uh, he does a lot of stuff to do with uh, being pain-free, as it were. Okay, he's got a book called Pain-Free, which is quite an interesting read. And then forwards now, so we're now we take the forwards, okay? So we're, we're doing basically four sets. We're doing backwards and forwards with our thumbs pointing forwards and backwards, okay? So you should be feeling a bit of a burn. You're probably feeling a burn, I am, so stick with it. Just imagine that your arms are super light, as if they're filled with helium, or you've got helium balloons on the 
end of your wrists and it's just making it so effortless. So it's almost like these arms that aren't even part of your body. Okay, so we release, we hold and relax. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Let's shake this out with, uh, with one vinyasa. So feet together at the top of the mat, big toes touching heels slightly apart. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back into your high plank. Either come onto the knees or take your chaturanga all the way down. Inhale into your baby cobra, full cobra or upward dog. And roll back into downward facing dog. And just pedal in through the feet here. And maybe even bending the knees quite considerably to rotate the hips from side to side. Get a stretch along the side of your body there. And then we're going to just step forward, step forward, step forward. Coming into ragdoll position here. So feet hip width apart. And then we're going to just roll all the way up. Shoulders come up towards the ears and draw the shoulder blades down the back. One more exercise uh, of this weird variety of the Gosku. Again, feet underneath the hips. Okay, so we've got that stacking motion with our feet parallel. Hands are gonna come into that loose grip with the thumbs and we're gonna bring the fingers to the temples here with the thumbs pointing down, okay? So from the side, it's gonna look like this. And we're gonna bring our elbows together if we can. If not, we don't bring them together, we just bring them where we can. And then we're gonna open up like this, really squeezing the shoulder blades back, and then come forward and touch, okay? So we do somewhere between 25 and 40 of these. So hands ready. If we can, we touch. If not, we don't, we open, we close, that's one. Open, close, two. Open, close, three. Inhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And 10. And 11. And 12. 13, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Good, and again, releasing out of that, we'll take one little vinyasa before we have a little shavasana. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan diving all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, hands to the shins or thighs. Exhale, step in. One leg back, followed by the other leg. Coming either through knees, chest and chin, or full chaturanga, upward dog or cobra. Roll back, down facing dog. And then just jump in or step in towards the front of your mat, taking a seat, lying down, <coughs> bringing the knees in towards the chest, squeezing yourself tightly there, hugging yourself tightly, and then extend the right leg away nice and long to the corner of the mat, then the left leg away nice and long towards the corner of the mat. Allow the toes to flop open here, Allow the arms to come about six inches away from the hips or the waist, nice and long. If you want, you can actually use your hands to lift up your head slightly and then lengthen it as you place it on the mat. And then you can place your arms nice and long away from you. And now just softly breathe. You can let any thoughts drift in and out of your mind, like clouds in the sky passing over the skylight of a car. Nothing to do, nothing to think about. Release, relax, recover. Staying here for as long as you wish.
All right, let's take some deeper, more conscious breaths if you're ready to come out of it. Otherwise, just stay where you are. Nice big deep breaths into the belly. And out. Sign it out. Big deep breath in. Yeah. Wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes, rotating through the wrists, rotating through the ankles. Taking it in the opposite direction with the ankles and the wrists as you rotate. Stretching your arms over your head to the floor behind you, stretching your fingertips to your toes, stretching the left side of the body out, right side of the body out, and then bringing the knees in towards the chest, hugging yourself tightly, telling yourself something nice about yourself, even if it's you gave yourself this few minutes of practice for your own benefit. And then rolling over to either your right or your left, whichever you prefer. Maybe taking a pause here in the fetal position, just allowing for a new you to be born. Before bringing yourself with your eyes closed to seated position on your mat or on the carpet, wherever you happen to be. Spine lengthened, gaze and say soft, shoulders soft. Eyes closed, bringing the hands into prayer position in front of the heart centre, taking a moment to offer some gratitude out for your practice or think about something that you're grateful for right now, even if it's your body, the weather, uh, having a home, having the internet, something that you can be grateful for. Raising your prayer towards your third eye, your forehead, we ask that we have the wisdom to watch our thoughts. Lowering our prayer towards our mouth or our throat chakra, we ask that we have the restraint to watch our words, especially when dealing with other people, but also the compassion to be mindful of our own internal dialogue. And finally, lowering our hands towards our heart centre, we ask that we have the strength and courage to do whatever is right and necessary, even when it's not the most preferred or desired path. Namaste. Thank you for practising with me. Uh, I hope this has helped strengthen your back. Uh, do come back to this class time and time again to practice that, especially those last few ones, they may have been a bit challenging. Please do connect with me. Um, as I said, my name is Harry Kalimnios. Namaste.